Why? Listen, why is the whole world shaking about Pastor Chris? Because it does not suit their system. Who is this guy? What's he saying? Who told him those things? He was not in the meeting when we decided this thing. How did he know? Man, did you say that three billion people watched? Three billion is dangerous. We have to stop him. But this kingdom, <laughs> this kingdom, this thing, this thing, this thing. You know, when we talk about certain things, kingdom money, kingdom finance, you, you need to understand it. That is why you can't be shedding tears. You were, they, they give you a sack later. And so what? And so what? Your prosperity was not connected to that company. If anything, their prosperity was connected to you. Go and study all the people that were from this kingdom. Go and study them. Go and study them. What was the Sahandra trying to do? We want to keep the system the way it is. We want to control it the way it is. We want to hold it the way it is. We don't want to let this thing go. Listen, let me explain something to you. This is divine life we're talking about. If you try to leave it, you think that the world will not fight? That you say, oh, look, divine life is at work in me. If I lay hands on you, you'll be, you'll be healed. They are, they, are, they are arranging the world to the place where if you lay hands, you'll be arrested for laying hands. I mean, why did you touch him? This coronavirus time, how come? Did you, did you, did you give permission to touch him? Brother, we will lay hands. <laughs> we will lay hands. Did, did you know that when Jesus, he was, Jesus was so revolutionary. When he raised Lazarus from the dead, he became a problem. See, so you will not leave them to die again. They can't just die. Coffee Makers Association said, this is not good for business. Not good for business. All those that produce music for, for burials said, this is not good. This is going to affect our music industry. It's going to affect our music industry. We need to stop it. We really need to stop it. The Sir said, he's raising them now, four days after. What did he do? How did he raise them? He said, he just spoke. Just spoke? Just spoke. He just said, Lazarus, come out. And he came out. You know, pastor would always say, see, they don't know where we're coming from. You set yourself against the church. Do you know where we're coming from? Do you know how this thing started? Do you know how it started? Our forebears were burnt on stakes. Narrow, narrow, used Christians as touch lights. To light up Rome. Nero used Christians, put them on sticks like street lights to light up the streets of Rome. The more he was doing it, the more people were getting born again. The more he was doing it, those who were born again were more convinced. True revolution is the way. Listen to me. And this, this is, why am I saying this thing? So you can have faith, have faith in the message of the gospel. Paul, Paul was a religious zealot. He was a zealot. He took papers to go and arrest Christians. Stop them. This thing has to stop until he met the thing everybody else ate. He didn't understand why these guys were like this. He was going about and said, hey, sir. He fell to his faith. I was saying, what he saw was too much. He could not, he could not see. He was blind for some days. Until that same Jesus spoke to somebody else. A person who never knew Saul walked to him and told him, God said to me. Listen, brothers and sisters, listen to me. Listen to me. I told people, if, if violence was the way, I would have been a violent person. 
oh my goodness. When I was in university, I just thought about it. If I was, if courtism was the way, the mind that I have, the kind of courtism I would do, the kind of violence I would, if violence was the way, will kill everybody. But it does not solve the problem. It doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't solve the problem. You say, okay, the white man is your problem. After the white man, you finish killing all the white men. Then your brother, the black on black crime, what are you going to do about that? It's okay, now we will not wake up and find out all the other black people who are a problem and we we'll kill all of them. Then you find that your mother was also planning to kill you before you were born. In fact, she tried, tried a lot. You come with confession, you say, Mom, you tried? You mean you tried? This is all you did to kill me, then you now kill your mother. Then your, your, your son will wake up and find out that you killed your mother. And I wonder what kind of a father are you? And to cleanse the land, your son will now kill you. Then his son will now wake up. The violence doesn't stop! Until eternal life enters. Push! Wash Abaya! How come people are following him? You didn't hear what I just said now. Why is everybody moving towards him? What is this revolution without, without guns? What is this revolution without, without violence? What is he telling them? What is he telling them? People will leave their home and they will go into a desert and stay for three days. I heard the last time they stayed there without food. Then I heard that he, his, his welfare program is amazing. 12 loaves of, I mean, just a, a, a small loaf of bread and some fishes. He fed 12,000 people. Who does that? How does he do it? He said, okay, when he was breaking the bread, what was in his hand? Was anything in his hand? Nothing. He said, this man is dangerous. He's dangerous. He's very dangerous. Listen, as long as you want to be part of the world system and you want to buy and sell in the world system, you can be compromised. The world will not be afraid of you. As long as you start, you step aside and you become a kingdom man and you start speaking the kingdom language and leaving from the kingdom standpoint, you will not want to start changing things. And that way you become dangerous. You become dangerous.